I will talk about how to create vectors in MATLAB for absolute beginners. I will start talking about what are vectors, how to create vectors, followed by indexing elements in vectors. You can find the timestamp next to each topic, and please feel free to skip around to find what you need. There are two types of vectors, row and column vectors. The row vector is a one-dimensional array of elements in a horizontal direction or a columnar direction. In this diagram, the row vector name is A, and each element is represented by A subscript J, where J is the index number from 1 to M. The index number should be an integer. To refer to the size of row vector, we can call 1 by M vector. 1 means a single row and then M represents the column size. To express the row vector in math, the square brackets are used to enclose the sets of elements with a space between elements. Similarly, the column vector is a one-dimensional array of elements in vertical or row direction. The indexing is also similar, and A subscript I represents the ith element of column vector A. The column vector can be written using the square brackets with the vertical element arrangement. The size of the column vector is n by 1 vector. There are a few different ways to build the vectors in MATLAB and you can choose whichever works best for you. I will show you how to build the following 1 by 5 row vector A. A simple way to build the row vector is to use square brackets. In command window, you can type a as a vector or variable name equals sign square brackets and type 3, 5, minus 2, 0, and minus 1 with a space in between. If successful, it shows only elements with a variable name a without square brackets below. This approach is straightforward and works best if there are no patterns among the elements. You can use a built-in function length to find the size of vector. Type length a to give you the size of vector, which is 5. To access to the specific element in given row vector, you can use index within the parentheses. For example, if you need to access to third element minus 2, type a parentheses 3, then you can see minus 2. 3 means index number 3. It shows minus 2 as expected. If you want to access to the last element, you can use a5, which is minus 1, or you can type length a, which is the same result. What about replacing minus 2 with 2? You can simply type a3 equals 2, and then you can identify the change. You can also add element at the end. For example, you can add minus 1 as a sixth element by typing a6 equals minus 1. What if you can try to add the element to much larger index than column size? For example, you try to add minus 2 as a 10th index by skipping element 7th through 9th. If elements do not exist, MATLAB automatically adds 0 element. What about accessing to the multiple elements at once? For example, you can access to 1st and 4th element by typing a parentheses and indices 1 and 4 with brackets. You can see the result. To replace 1st and 4th elements with 6 and minus 3, you can type a square bracket 1 and 4 equals 6 minus 3. Then you can see the changes. What about creating a 1 by 5 row vector b having 1 to 5 with increment of 1? You can still use a square bracket. Alternatively, in case that the element increased by 1, you can use a colon operator. You can type b equals sign starting number 1 colon followed by end number 5 to create the row vector b. You can use a colon operator for indexing. For example, if you want to access second to fourth element, you can type b parentheses to colon 4. The syntax j colon k generate a row vector having the first element j to k having increment of 1. This approach works best if the elements are considered as a series having increment of 1. The colon operator is very important in MATLAB and we'll reuse it for various applications later. 
So please keep this in mind. What about creating a 1 by 6 row vector C having 0 to 0.5 with increment of 0.1? You can still use square brackets. However, since the series has an increment of 0.1 rather than 1, you need to specify it. The secret is to specify the increment between columns. The syntax J colon I colon K gives a row vector having the first element J to K with increment of I. You can type C equal sign from 0, 0.5, then define the increment in between. The syntax J colon I colon K gives you a row vector having the first element J to K with increment of I. What about a 1 by 5 row vector D having 5 to 1? We can consider this series as a 5 to 1 with the increment of minus 1. You can type D equals sign from 5 to 1, then you can define increment of minus 1. Sometimes we need to create a row vector having the certain number of elements from the start and end with equal spacing between the elements. For example, we would like to create a row vector between 1 and 5 with equal spacing for the different column size. You can use built-in function lean space, which represents linear space. This function requires at least two arguments, the first element j and last element k and a column size m. If you skip m, m will be 100 as a default, meaning you will generate 1 by 100 row vector. To create 1 by 3 row vector from 1 through 5 with equal spacing, you can type f equals sign in space 1, 5, and 3. Argument 1 is a starting element, 5 is ending element, and 3 is a column size. The spacing is 2. You can also build a 1 by 5 row vector from 1 through 5 by changing 3 to 9. The spacing is 0.5. I use the upper arrow key to call the most recent command that I typed. You can also visit the command history window to select the command that you wanted to call. This approach works best when you know the start and end element and then desired column size for equal spacing rather than specific increment between the elements. A simple way to build a column vector is to use square brackets as you have done for the row vector. However, the difference is to use semicolon as a row separator between the elements. For example, I would like to build a 5 by 1 column vector G having element 3, 5, minus 2, 0, and minus 1. You can type G equals sign square bracket with the elements 3, 5, minus 2, 0, minus 1 to see given elements. If successful, you can see the elements in the vertical direction without square brackets. Another way to create a column vector is to transpose a row vector by using single quotation mark at the end of row vector. Here, I will show you how to create a 5 by 1 column vector H for element 1 through 5. In this vector, the element increased by 1 from 1 through 5. You can simply create a row vector using colon operator. Then you can use single quotation mark to convert it to the column vector H. Alternatively, you can introduce the dummy variable x for the 1 by 5 row vector, then transpose it later. Alternatively, you can use a built-in function transpose. You can also use lean space followed by single quotation mark to finish the job. Thanks for watching this video until the end and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.